We haven't hit anything. Hopefully this light. This video is sponsored by Avail. Are you a HGV driver looking for a job? If so, then create and log into the Avail app and start looking for work. Want to know more? Then download the Avail app today. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to my channel. My name is Luke. Thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Hopefully you're okay. How are you? We are in the yard right now. Um, I've actually been off the last couple of days. I've been ill. I'm starting to feel a little bit better. Uh, we've got a trailer that's been ready loaded for us. It's preloaded. We just got a hitch out of my truck's over there. So we've got to unhitch from there and just hitch up to here. We've got the paperwork. So uh, yeah, let's uh, go and do some checks and hitch up to this red flatbed. So if you uh, watched my last video, you would know that my truck broke down. So we're just in the middle of putting everything back in. A lot of it fell off the bunk onto the windscreen, but um, yeah, we're sort of tying it up a little bit now. PPE, PPE can go in the PPE cupboard. Lovely, stay. Lovely, jubbly. We are. We do have a card in. Um, so yeah, so we just uh, we're solo at the moment. We'll um, go and hitch up now. Um, I'll go put my boots on, clean the floor because the floor is dirty, um, and then we can uh, head off. We gotta go to Bista first thing this morning, and then uh, from Bista we gotta go to Milton Keynes. That's two deliveries. Not sure what we're doing from there. Um, but yeah, last couple of days I've just been feeling ill. I've just been sick. Um, and dizziness, and it's the dizziness which is the main thing. Like, I could drive while I was being sick or feeling sick, but as soon as you're dizzy, um, no. <laughs> um, many times I've come to work feeling like I want to be sick, and I've actually been sick while I was driving. <laughs> Maybe TMI, too much information, but yeah, no, as soon as you get dizziness, then um, yeah, that's not safe to drive. That's new. I remember that being there. It's a mark on the. Uh... Huh. I do not remember that being there. Anyway, I need to uh... <coughs> hitch up now to uh... to this trailer. Right, we'll grab that. Okay, so you always use the black procedure. So you start from the back, K, which is kingpin. Kingpin is in. C is clip. So let's put the clip in. Go. That stops this now from being dragged out. So that's K and C. We're going to go to A, which is airlines. So we're going to go around the corner now, put the airlines in. Airlines in. The red one. The yellow one. Now we want to put the um, electrical lines in as well. And that gives us lights. primary and secondary electricals and then finally we want the ABS cable here to stop our trailer from locking up. So we've done kingpin clip number plate airlines then it's L for legs. So we've got to wind the legs up. <laughs> Finally, the B stands for brake, so we've got to go check the trailer brake, make sure it's turned off, ready for transit. Let's go check that now. And just push that on in, lovely gubby. There's one couple, you just do it in opposite. So, brake, legs, airlines, clip, kingpin. That's the one. Right, we're just checking the load now, make sure it's all done up tight. I never got this loaded. So, just checking the load security. Check the lights while we're going around as well. We've got plenty of oil in. I say that because the other day I didn't and uh, I got told off. <laughs> but I always say, if you make mistakes, own up to it. Absolutely zero point in. Pretending like you didn't do something wrong, just say sorry. Station at 808. Thank you, Tom Tom. 
8.08. Um, so this particular place don't open up until 7.30. We've got to go to um, Nicholson Nurseries. Um, it looks like it's the yurt at Nicholson. Um, looks like quite a big place. I don't actually know where exactly on the site we're going. Uh, but we will find it. We will find it. Um, yeah, we're pretty much good to go now. So I've got both destinations set into the sat-nav. Uh, trailer is hitched up. I'm good. Uh, I'm, I'm happy with the load security. Um, yeah, everything is pretty much good to go. Just got to finish filling off my daily check. Right, we're good to go. Put that there, make sure my phone is on off or do not disturb. Ah, I think I could do putting the heat seat up one bit. All right, let's go. Let's start our journey, start our day. Hopefully we don't break down. Yeah, you're right. We're out of here. Let's get out of the yard. Um, so yeah, we are going to head straight to our first delivery point. Like I said, it's, um, it's a nurseries. Looks like a relatively big site. So hopefully we don't get lost on site. <laughs> um, be nice if it's signposted. We're just going to slow down because there's lorries turning right. And we'll need some of my road to get round. Thing is, I think he's slowing down as well. Come on. Come on round. Yeah, so hopefully we don't get um, lost on site. Second delivery is going to Milton Keynes, going to MKM Building Supplies in Milton Keynes. Been there a few times, actually. It's one of them where... Um, actually, no, I think it, it used to be one of them where you um, went in... They offloaded you on one side, then you move over. But actually, the last couple of times I've been, although it is tight for space, they managed to tip you both sides, which is so much easier. It saves having to get in and moving again and moving over. So I'd much rather that if you can get in and um, not have to move again. Obviously, the bags are netted up. I don't actually know how many bags we got. I'm going to assume it's 25 bags. I haven't counted them. I never got <laughs> loaded. Uh, but I assume it's 25. I'll probably double check when I'm at the first delivery. There's nothing I can do now, so there's no point checking now. Do you know I mean, it needs to be checked once it's loaded, really, and whilst you're there. <laughs> so if it's wrong, it can be corrected. So there's not a lot we can do anyway. If, it's, if there's less or if there's more. Should be able to go after this Mercedes. Let's go. If the Mercedes carried on going, we would have been able to get out no problem. Uh, but the <laughs> Mercedes decided to stop to let a car go through that never what ended up going through because it wasn't getting left, but never mind. We got out. We got out. Get left here. Right, anyway, I'm going to crack on to the first delivery point. I'll probably see you when we're a little bit closer. Um, so, yeah, see you in a bit. Okay, you joined me a couple of miles away from our first delivery of the day. Uh, beautiful day today. Nice and sunny. 16 degrees Celsius, so it's not too hot, not too cold. Beautiful day. Beautiful. Um, I have just phoned the company that we're delivering to to advise that I am uh, going to be there for a certain amount of time, so they are expecting me. But they were they were expecting me anyway. I said, hi, I got a delivery for you from, you know, Malco Industries. Uh, hi, yes, we're expecting you. And straight away they go, how do you feel? Are you feeling, be feeling better? So they must have been told that... Um, that I was off because of obviously I was I was sick. So uh, yeah, it's really nice of them to uh, to ask how I was feeling on the phone. I wasn't expecting it at all. Um, and it's just like, oh hi, how are you? How are you feeling? Are you feeling better? Ah, oh, okay, okay. See you soon. See you soon. This is really nice, really sweet. So I'm getting really good vibes about this place already. Um, yeah, just of uh, just how good it is. I did ask where they want me. They said it should be quite obvious once I turn up. I should see goods in signs. So. Um, yeah, just just aim for those goods in signs, I suppose. She said something about a barn and then on the left-hand side. I think she said park on the left-hand side. But she also said someone would be there to help, so... Yeah. Yes, somewhere around there. I'll turn right at these crossroads, which are approaching in 700 yards. OK, we're going to start indicating... There is a limit, weight limit, and a height limit. Two miles, 4.1 metre bridge. We're not going down two miles, so we should be okay. 
looks a little bit snug, so I'm going to take up two lanes just in case anything's coming out. There is. But I've already committed. Get round there, get round there. Lovely. ASM. So we take another right hand turn off the road and I believe then it's on the left. It looks, I, I think it's like a, like a hotel with, with a nursery on it as well. Got a pedestrian on the left, make sure we don't squish them. Let's get on over. Make sure we don't squish them, all clear. He's a bit low. And then we go to a 20 mile an hour. There's a sign down there, proper flashing at me. We're not in the limit yet. I'm slowing down. Oh, this looks a little bit snug, you know. Definitely can't be anything coming around as we take this turn. We made it. And then go left in here, look. Oh, it's a bit snug as well. I do hope that this is the right way in. I wasn't expecting it to be quite that snug. Plus, I've not seen any goods in signs yet. Mind you, this, there's a passenger's place here, look, which looks specifically for trucks, potentially. There's nowhere I can make the left. Nursery deliveries, okay, okay. That's my first sign that I've seen. So I am in the right place. Uh, all deliveries right. Yeah, there's lots more space in here. It's just getting in, isn't it? So I reckon, part like this, we'll see what they say. If they ask me to move, obviously I will. But I say, part like this to begin with. Whilst we're here, I've already got the destination in for our next delivery in Milton Keynes, pre-programmed. Something I like to do. So we can put that in straight away. So as soon as we leave, we know exactly where we're going. And it's going to take us just over an hour to get there. Right, hopefully we'll find someone, get this off. Let's see you in a bit. Okay, this is the part of the video where we talk about the Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. I promise you, if you want to know anything regarding HTVs or, or working hours or anything like that, then you need to purchase this book because everything is in it. Uh, and if you are already a HTV driver and you think you already know about all this sort of stuff, buy it anyway because it's going to refine your existing skills. The Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. Link in the description down below. Go buy yourself a copy now. Right, straps are off. We're currently getting unloaded. There was, there's one pallet behind this bag, so we've had to go and do that one as well. But we're getting there. One more left to come off on this side. Lovely. Right, now we're done this side, so I can throw a strap over here. I've got to wait till that one's moved first, so I can put the net up on top and strap the net to the top. That's the plan. Uh, got three more left to come off on the other side. We've got two forklifts on me, which is really nice. We're really not going to be here for long at all, which is good. I see that they also stock these bags. They are a nightmare to transport. Well, I, I say nightmare, not if you're in a curtain signer, because you can just internal it. They're light bags, so you can just internal it up. 
if you're on a flatbed like me, you gotta net it. And they are taller than me. I'm six foot three. Uh, it's uh, it's not easy to get up and net it all and strap it all up. It takes a bit of effort. <laughs> so it's a nightmare. Over. There we go, that's that one done up. Good to go. Put that down. It's good to go. Whilst we're here, we just double check these are all tight as well. Just before we uh, head off, always try to be a responsible driver. Lovely. Click. There we go, you're done up. Sweet. It's uh, definitely warming up. Time to take my hoodie off. <laughs> okay, paperwork is signed. We've got to go to Milton Keynes now. Let's put some aircon on. It's definitely warm. And he's waiting for us. I think he's going to help direct us round by the looks of it. Stopping traffic. Should be enough room to get out. Is he gonna bring him a first? Yeah, I was gonna say. Made more sense. There's an uh, eight wheeler coming in. Makes sense to get him in whilst there's room. Bang tidy. <laughs> Out we go. So, so there is room in this yard. It's a little bit snug. Some of these gate posts, but been down tighter roads and haven't hit anything. So shouldn't hit anything here. <laughs> I've said that now. Probably will. But you don't want to be meeting trucks on the way in or out. That's for sure. Checking it's all clear before I commit. I'm kind of committed now. But yeah, I've got to take it very wide. You can't see on camera, but like the trailer is right up against the edge, the back end of it. Yep, we're good. We've got out of that one. I love the armrest. <laughs> I was in uh, I was in one of the other, other trucks when I the other day in the last video, and there was no armrest. You, you don't realise just how comfortable it is until you haven't got one. Let's go out of these gates. It is, uh, it's pretty snug. All clear. And then, this is a blind turn. We can't see anything coming from the left. It says give way, so the only thing we can do is just drive out, but slowly. I can kind of see out the mirrors a little bit. Oh, glad that lorry ain't coming down here. Yeah, it's all clear. And then we need this side of the road to get around this corner. Literally on the curb, just to get around, because it was very tight getting in. It's all clear. quite a tight sort of hairpin turn yeah we're clear 
that window can go up, this one can go up. So yes, we're on our way to Milton Keynes now. We're only an hour away, so we should be there for 10 o'clock. Um, so yeah, plenty of time to go do something else this afternoon. I wasn't sure how long this was going to take. Uh, but yeah, we're going to have plenty of time, so we'll probably go get loaded somewhere. And then probably even go and deliver it if, if we're quick. Depends how quickly it takes to offload at this next place. I have been here for a couple of hours before in the past. So it does very much depend on uh, on how long I'm going to be there for. No idea what I'm doing after this. I'll, um, I'll message the boss once, once we've done it. He was going to be out and about driving this truck, I believe, or a truck, putting this trailer if I wasn't in today. Because, um, like I said, they, they were expecting this yesterday and they had to get a phone call to say it wasn't going to be in. That's how they knew. Um, well, that's how they asked if I was okay, like if I was feeling better, because they knew I was ill, because it was due in yesterday and it wasn't. So they were very understanding. They didn't seem too upset about it, but obviously I apologised nonetheless. And she was like, don't be silly, you don't need to apologise for uh, for being ill. But just don't want to let people down. I don't like letting my company down, my boss down, I don't like letting customers down, but sometimes you have to be safe be the bigger man and say look I I can't drive today <laughs> so yeah you just it's all part of being a responsible driver isn't it so I mean I've lost out on well I've had I had two days off so I've lost out on 300 quid's worth of wages I'm on 150 a day um, so yeah <laughs> I, I want to be at work but if you're not feeling well then you can't can you anyway let's crack on to Milton Keynes um, hopefully we won't be there too long fingers crossed I'll see you in a bit ok you join me in Milton Keynes um, we haven't had to deal with any roundabouts yet <laughs> um, that's about to change uh, we're about a couple of miles away still but we'll be there in uh, in about 4 minutes or so shouldn't take too long hopefully we can drive straight in well I say that actually we can't drive straight in I don't think we can sort of turn right and park in their driveway if there's a gap if there's someone parked there then there are normally cars parked on the side of the road it might mean we've got to go around and do a circle um, yeah <laughs> never had to do that yet but it, it's going to happen one day obviously we'll have to wait and see we'll be there soon so we can have a little look don't really need to indicate left because it's a left only lane but never mind we've done it now so we shall continue yeah, we've got 25 bulk bags to come off. It's uh, 22 bags of topsoil, and then I think it's three bags of bark. Bit, bit random to have just three, bar three bags of bark, but never mind. That is what they have ordered. Um, so yeah, hopefully we're not going to be here too long. Like I said, I have been here a few times. Sometimes you've got to do one side, move over, do the other. Sometimes you park in the middle, they do both sides, but also um, if a customer comes in, then they tend to deal with the customer and ignore the delivery so we've got to bear that in mind as well but um, yeah it's a really lovely day today I must admit Brooksley there's definitely something down there that I've delivered to before Brooksley again yeah 100% there's something around here that I've delivered to I'm pretty sure on the paperwork it said Rooksley and I'm, I had no idea where Rooksley was then it turned out to be Milk Keynes. I think I did a night out. Rooksley again. Well, maybe, maybe it's just this place that I'm thinking of, the place I'm delivering to being Rooksley. Don't know. Right. Uh, where are we going to park? We have vehicles. I think we can park in their drive. I think. I'm not sure. We seem to have a lot of vehicles parked out here. I'm hoping we can just park up here. Yeah, there is a truck in there, look. At least we're off the road. That's the main thing. Get off the road. Because it is quite busy. We could do spinning to the left a bit. 
So back end of the trailer is uh, is off the road. There's still a gap for vehicles to get in and out here. Hopefully he's going to turn right. Seems to be pretty busy. We might actually be here a while. Looks like they've got their own trucks that need to be loaded as well. So, ah, At least we're in. At least we're in. Right. See you in a bit. Right. We just moved over to the other side. We've got a lorry just parked behind us as well. Uh, but the net is off. Unstrapped. We're good to go. So, yeah. Um... Net is off, strap is off, we're just waiting to be let in. Uh, one, the lorry that was in has come out. One of their own lorries has gone in. They might even do the other one yet. Then it'd be our turn, hopefully. Um, and there's one behind us as well, so they're pretty busy today. Gonna go in and uh, let them know that I am here. I'm not sure that you know I'm here, but better to be safe in it. Okay, they're now aware that I'm here. They said they'd give me a shout uh, when they want me in, so. Just go sit in the truck now and uh, I'll probably message the boss, find out what I'm doing next. Uh, ready to put in the sat nav. Right, we are in, we are being tipped. We've got two port lifters on us. Happy days. Using our trusted uh, pole just to get the ears open. There's one going the other way, look, the other side. Lovely. Right, we're nearly done. The issue is that truck's over there. We're going to try and squeeze past him in a minute. We should be right. Right, we are tipped. Engine on, suspension down, lift up. So it's literally just parked right behind me in a van. Literally, directly behind the trailer. <laughs> Whack it, reverse, handbrake off, they soon move. All that dust has just come in. <laughs> Need to brush the yard. <laughs> um, yeah, all that dust has just come straight in. I've got all my windows open. Bloody hell. Yeah, I'm <laughs> going to need some serious dust in, I think, later on today. Let's get out of here first. I had the windows down because then I could concentrate on where I was going. Because it is pretty snug. Like there. I think we're just about clear. Got to get an ever so slight angle because there's a lorry behind us on my side. So I've got to get at an angle to get out. We haven't hit anything, but we were definitely close to. <laughs> there we go, get past this lorry. Hopefully this lorry... Okay, yeah, we did it, a gate. With the whip window, mirror. Just said we didn't hit anything and then we <laughs> just give the little mirror a love tap. Luckily they do fold backwards, so it's not broke. Okay, now we're clear of the lorry, we can start turning. There we go. It's tight getting out of this junction as well. Probably will go on a curb, I think. I don't know, it might be right. Cheers, mate. Sorry about that, idiot. That's all right. They either stop or get hit, so. Oh, 
on the left. There we go. We've got to go to the left so we get the trailer swung round. So we can get down this line of cars, look. Otherwise the trailer wouldn't be central by the time we got here. A little bit snug, but we made it. Still doing a manoeuvre, so don't legally have to wear a seatbelt. We've got one more manoeuvre to go because this is, can be a bit snug around here. Yeah, there is a car coming. Literally right where I want to be, mate. Thank you. Right, put the seatbelt on. Yeah, a little bit annoying. I said I haven't hit anything yet, and then almost straight away I hit something. <laughs> um, luckily, there was, there was no damage to the gate. Um, no damage to the mirror. The, he, just, he just pushed the mirror out, that was all. Uh, which is what it's designed to do for that exact reason. Unfortunately, you can't have eyes everywhere. You can try, but... Look, no one is perfect. Everyone makes mistakes. Every, everyone breaks stuff. Anyway, I've got a phone call coming in, so I'm going to take it. I shall see you in a little while. See you in a bit. Man, that's hot. It's 23 degrees. Um, just dropped the red flatbed, which is that one there. We've now hit except to the blue flatbed, which is the one I used to have all the time. I've not had for a while because the floor needed redoing. My boss has done a, a great job on this. Brand new floor, look. Brand new floor. Uh, let's go get the first load on it. <laughs> um, yeah, looks good that. Looks good. It's bloody hot and I'm hot and I'm sweaty now. Okay, so yeah, back in the truck. I'm going to head. I don't know if I said. We've got to go to Tetbury. Did I say? Can't remember if I said or not. <laughs> uh, we've got to head back to Tetbury. Um, well, head to Tetbury rather. Get loaded with two drops. One in Chelmsford, I think. Was it Chelmsford? No. Coventry is where it was. Get my C's mixed up. <laughs> go to Coventry for the first one and then there's somewhere else after that. That's a job for tomorrow. So, let's crack on to Tetbury. I'll see you when we get there. Okay, I'm at B-Right. Sorry, no, I'm at, I'm at Tetbury, but I need to be at B-Right. <laughs> I've been sent to the wrong place. Uh, he said go to Tetbury, but uh, it's actually at the sawmill, so I've now got to drive back to the sawmill. <laughs> Just annoying. I drove past it to get here, but never mind. What can you do? It is what it is. So yeah, we're spinning round now and go to uh, go to the sawmill <laughs> and get loaded from there. Okay, we are at B Wright Sawmills now and we're being loaded with bolt bags. We've got 50 bags going on. So I need to grab the net out and, uh, and start putting it over the bags. Okay, we are up on the trailer and uh, we're sort of netting it all up as we go. That's that end over there. And then obviously this end's not quite netted up yet. We need to wait for a few more to be double stacked uh, before we roll this net over. And then we can uh, net it all up. <clears throat> it's definitely warming up. 23 degrees, which for anyone who doesn't live in the UK, <laughs> will say that that's not hot. <laughs> that's warm for the UK. But yeah, no, so another bag to be put on now, so we can roll this over a bit more. And now that that's rolled over, we can Flap this over as well. Yes. We'll make our way over to the other side now so we can start doing the other side as well. I think that's all the bags for this side to go on. So one, two, three more, I think that'd be it. Yeah, so we're just making our way over here now. We do have a very thin ledge to walk on, but try and keep three points of contact at all times. A bit difficult when you're carrying a phone, but never mind. Grab this net. Flap it over. Okay, just like that. We are loaded. We are netted. We are strapped. And we are hot. And we are sweaty. <laughs> uh, all part of the job. All part of the job. Anyway, we're in the truck. Uh, to put my high vis on. Hang on, let me just pick it up. Take the high vis off, rather, not on. So, yeah, I'm going to head back to the yard now. And. Uh, park up and we'll be done for the day and that is the end of today's video so thank you very much for watching i really do appreciate it don't forget to give a like a comment and subscribe all that good stuff and uh, yeah thank you so much for watching until next time drive safe stay safe i will see you soon i've been luke thank you very much Bye bye